All right, so in this problem, I have five to the power of x plus five to the power of x is equal to seven. So to start, I'm going to factor out five to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I have five to the power of x times one plus one is equal to seven. Now one plus one, that's equal to two. So I have five to the power of x times two is equal to seven. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by two. So then these two cancel out, and I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 7 over 2. Now from here, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 7 over 2. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log 7 over 2. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. These two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 7 over 2 over log 5. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log of b. So in this case, I have log 7 over 2. And I can rewrite that as log 7 minus log 2. And I have this over log 5. So now that this is all simplified, we, all we need to do is plug in the values of log 7, log 2, and log 5. So log 7 is equal to 0 0.8451. Log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010, and log 5 is equal to 0 0.6990. So I have x is equal to 0 0.8451 minus 0 0.3010. And I have this over 0 0.6990. So if we simplify all of this, we get that x is equal to 0 0.7784. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 1. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And I get x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, x to the power of 4, I can rewrite this as x to the power of 2 times 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2. I can rewrite this as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now, I have this minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, 1 is the same thing as 1 squared. So I have x squared to the power of 2 minus 1 squared is equal to 0. If I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 1. So I have x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1. And this is equal to 0. Now, remember how now this is a this is equal to 
this actually gives me three equate or sorry two equations I have x squared plus 1 is equal to 0 and I have x squared minus 1 is equal to 0 so for x squared plus 1 equals 0 I'm going to start by subtracting 1 on both sides so these two cancel out and I get x squared is equal to negative 1 now if I take the square root on both sides the square root of x squared is x and the square root of negative 1 if you guys already know is i so I have positive and negative i and for x squared minus 1 equals 0 I'm going to add 1 on both sides so I get x squared is equal to 1 if I take the square root I get x is equal to positive or negative 1 so that's two more solutions so these are my four solutions to this problem all right so in this problem I have x to the power of x to the power of 10 is equal to 400 so to start I'm going to rewrite 400 actually before that I'm going to rewrite 400 as 20 squared and now I'm going to take the power of 10 on both sides so now I have x to the power of x to the power of 10 to the power of 10 is equal to 20 to the power of 2 to the power of 10 now if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, we can think of x to the power of 10 as m and 10 as n, and I can switch these two places. So now I have x to the power of 10 to the power of x to the power of 10. And also, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is the same thing as 20 to the power of 2 times 10, which is 20. Now, I'm going to let x to the power of 10 equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 20 to the power of 20. And a to the power of a equals b to the power of b. This means that a equals b. So y is equal to 20. Now remember how we let x to the power of 10 equal to y, meaning x to the power of 10 is equal to 20. And x is equal to the 10th root of 20. 